Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Ollie43 and I'm here again in City Skylines. This is a really cool city management game that's currently number one on the Steam chart. And uh, I did a video not too long ago about this mod that you're looking at right now, or a map, I should say, which is someone recreating San Andres or Los Santos from GTA 5. And it was an amazing mod. Even I had uh, Polygon.com, which is a renowned gaming news website, make an article on the video I made. Because it was just so freaking cool that someone had made the map and uh, just produced it to such a high quality. Today, I'm showing you a new mod, which is kind of along the same lines as the GTA 5 map. For those of you that are waiting for GTA 5 on the PC, have you ever just wanted to walk down Los Santos' main street? in first person view, just experience the city for the first time because you're waiting for it to come out on PC and <laughs> it keeps getting delayed well, now you can maybe not as high quality and in much detail uh, but there is a new mod which is a first person view mod uh, for this game which is really really cool if you ever wanted to walk around your city and see how it's doing and uh, in conjunction with this mod, the GTA 5 map, you can do exactly that. So I'm going to show it to you today. Um, so to configure this first person camera, uh, oh by the way there's a link in the description if you want to add it to your game. Uh, you can click this little icon, it produces an icon up here. And it's actually really really good settings here, you can snap it to ground if you like, which is obviously first person sort of walk along the floor. You can set the height from which you view the camera from the floor. Field of view, which I know a few, like Total Biscuit for example, will be very pleased about. Movement speed, how fast you can walk, sensitivity, and all of those things. So it's a really, really cool mod. It's really well thought out, and it's actually really cool. If I move along this field of view slider, it gets pretty jarring, but yeah. So uh, like, I think 66 or something seems pretty reasonable for me. And I don't seem, I, like I struggle with motion sickness, so that was pretty important for me. So, as you can see here, the hotkey for toggling first person view is tap. So if I hit tap, it's going to take me to where I last was in first person view, which is really, really cool. And as you can see, if I walk around here, I'm just walking around. This is really, really cool. I've paused it for the moment, but uh, if I just press play. Uh, now you can see people walking around, you know, they're doing odd animations and, and stuff like <laughs> the game doesn't expect you to get this close to up and personal with it. So I'm here at the observatory tower and uh, hello little man. I am much bigger than you. Hello. Oh my god, you all look alike. That is a weird looking dog. What, he's got Bluetooth? Why the hell would you ever probe that into a game that you wouldn't expect people to get to this close? Can we go in the bus? Oh my god! There's no one in this bus! It's a lie! What's up with the <laughs> reflection in the windows? Anyway, so, yeah, this is the observatory tower. Obse I can't even say that word. You know what I'm talking about. This huge circular thing is right here. And here is Los Santos. So I'm just going to walk down and kind of take you for a stroll inside of the city. So, obviously, this city right here is completely... I mentioned it in my last video, completely sort of unreliable and can't look after itself. Uh, it's more of a gimmick and just a bit of a joke, I suppose. Um, I think my frame rate's taking a bit of a hit. Let's actually change some of the settings here. So I do want to snap to ground and I want to be a little bit lower to the ground. So let's go there and there we go. So let's go back. There you go. Okay. So yeah, every time you go down a hill, it doesn't snap you instantly, uh, which I think is because this game is built on like a grid system. Uh, so if you go down a little lump like this, it does like jump you down a little bit afterwards. Um, yeah, it's, it's really cool. So now, ladies and gentlemen, PC, GTA 5 map, first person view. We've done it. No need. To, don't even bother buying GTA 5 now. You've done it. It is fine. This is exactly the same. You can you can't shoot anyone or anything, but yeah, it's basically the same, right? <laughs> Not really. If you're wanting to play GTA 5 on a budget and uh, you don't want to get two games, this is the game for you. Because now you can do it all. Look at all these people. Look at all of them. Actually, quite detailed. I don't know why they keep lunging on the floor. Ready? Well, there's going to be a next lunger. Look, what are you doing? You got a toolbox. Oh, they've all got toolboxes. Are they, are they planting, like, bombs or something? That's kind of what it looks like. <laughs> it's crazy. Look at that. 
So, uh, yeah. I mean, where's the Maze Bank building? Uh, it should be this way, I'm guessing. This is really cool. Like, obviously, you know, it's like kind of playing like a PS2 game or like a PS1 game, maybe, or like a Xbox original. Because, like, there's literally no detail in the city whatsoever. Um, but still, it's pretty awesome. So where are we now? I now I'm genuinely lost in the city. Um, let's take the bridge. Maybe that'll be helpful. Oh, I should be able to work out where we are. Oh my god, there's a fire. Oh my god. I thought I said poop soda, but it says pop soda. Is your name Sam? Yeah, I guess it must be. Well, there we go. Uh, I should be able to work out where we are judging by the map. So, I think I know where I am. If I'm correct, one of the... Yeah, I, I do know where I am. So, maze map buildings this way. All the buildings look the same, so it's very hard for me to tell. Uh, hmm. <laughs> I thought I knew where I am. I kind of do. I recognize everything. So if I go over this bridge, it takes me towards the airport. I know that much. So, over the bridge. There's the Maze Bank building. Okay. Yeah, it's kind of similar. This is cool. Um, but like I said, if you want to check it out, there is a link in the description. I just thought a lot of people were kind of suggesting it in the comment section of my last video, so I definitely thought it was worth checking out. Um, I personally think that mods in this game are really, really cool. Um, I'm actually really, really looking forward to the GTA 5 mods because I'll be doing similar type of videos. Uh, but this is just so cool. I wish we could. Someone's got to invent a mod where you can drive a car. Like, that's the next step. Go nuts. Donuts. <laughs> wow, marketing at its best. It's so simple, it's bound to work. Yeah, there we go. Anyway, guys, uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, drop a like on your way out and check out our Patreon page. And we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.